ready-to-use culture media are used for the application's air and surface monitoring. This video shows the use of triple-bagged gamma-irradiated culture media for use in aseptic environments as well as the growth of microbial strains. Triple-bagged ICR plus contact and settle plates allow a safe and sterile transfer into clean rooms by removing one bag per material lock. For use in isolators, the innermost bag can be hung up during decontamination by using the hole. For passive air monitoring, the settle plate is positioned at critical control points without the lid up to four hours. Active air monitoring at critical control points is performed with air samplers such as the MAS-100 ESO-NT with a typical sampling volume of, for example, 1,000 liters. For surface monitoring, the contact plate is pressed on the surface with a uniform and steady pressure for a few seconds. After the samples have been taken, all plates are transferred into the incubator. According to guidelines, there are many possible incubation conditions. The USP 1116 recommends 20 to 35 degrees Celsius for at least 72 hours, with two-tiered incubation being possible. The FDA industry guidance recommends for yeasts and molds 20 to 25 degrees Celsius for five to seven days, and for bacteria 30 to 35 degrees Celsius for 48 to 72 hours. Typical procedures in the pharmaceutical industry are as follows. A two-tiered incubation, meaning to incubate TSA at a low temperature first, followed by a high temperature. For instance, start with 20 to 25 degrees Celsius, followed by 30 to 35 degrees Celsius. Or, incubate TSA at a high temperature of 30 to 35 degrees Celsius and SDA at a low temperature, for instance 20 to 25 degrees. Or, incubate TSA at a medium temperature, for instance 30 degrees Celsius. The time lapse shows the growth of microorganisms on an active air monitoring sample taken with the MAS-100VF in a non-specified environment. This overview shows the different microbial strains on tryptic soy agar with the fungal strains compared to saborodextrose agar. This is the result of a growth promotion test according to harmonized pharmacopoeia. We used ICR plus settle plates containing TSA and SDA, both with four neutralizers. The strains that can be seen on both plates are Candida albicans and Aspergillus brasiliensis, which grew at 32.5 degrees Celsius on TSA and 22.5 degrees Celsius on SDA for three and five days. The bacteria strains Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Staphylococcus aureus, and Escherichia coli grew on TSA at 32.5 degrees Celsius for two days and the Bacillus subtilis at the same temperature for three days. These plates show the difference between a sample from monitoring in a non-specified environment on the left and a sample from a clean room on the right-hand side. 